Can you make a video on how to hide jump cuts? Absolutely. How good it's gonna be, I don't know. But anywho, first thing we gotta do is define what a jump cut is. So a jump cut is really just a cut of a clip in film that is pretty abrupt and takes you into the future. So there are a lot of different use cases of this in movies, film, dialogue, etc. But we're gonna focus on YouTube videos specifically. So a lot of YouTube videos are essentially well, let's be honest, some type of schmuck in front of a camera talking to microphone. Right, so that's what we're gonna mainly focus on. So when you're editing a YouTube video, typically, well, the raw A roll footage is filled with a lot of this. So um, the new iPhone uh, is is great uh the the new cinematic camera mo uh and naturally all those uhs and ums don't sound good so when you edit your youtube video you're typically cutting those out and that creates jump cuts so when i see this question i'm thinking more of a creating a youtube video and well how can you hide some of those frankenbites and so if you if you're not familiar a frankenbite is typically something done on a reality tv series right and so it's usually used to misquote someone to be honest and it's one they typically will take audio from multiple clips and cut them and splice them together to form a sentence that the person didn't say but that the producers wish they said. The same strategies used for those frankenbites can actually be used to hide your jump cuts. So if you're talking about film, a jump cut is typically an artistic style. So no, you don't want to cover those up. But for YouTube videos and choppy dialogue and masking those ums, ha's, and ees, well, that's a different story altogether. So let's show you a few different ways. There are three Three ways that I can think of off the top of my head to cover up some jump cuts if you're making a YouTube video. We've actually covered all three on this channel before, but this is going to be a great review. Your first two options are L or J cuts. What this is, is either leading with audio or video transitions as you transition from clip to clip. Now, if you're looking to hide a jump cut specifically, you're most likely going to have some type of choppy audio. So you'd most likely be using a J cut to cover up your jump cuts rather than an L cut. Well, I mean, it kind of depends on your footage, but in general, you would want your original clip to have some type of video component that will go either for a reaction or a dramatic pause or something as you then have your almost like Franken bite kind of audio clip going. And so what that allows is for your message to be delivered and not have the jumpiness of the video component. So if you're looking to hide jump cuts, it's really the video component that you're looking to hide, right? And so that's where the J cut's gonna come in. If you're able to start the first part of your sentence and then have like a dramatic pause where you could, I don't know, insert Dwayne Johnson eyebrow raise here, right? Like you could easily do that and have the, the rest of your almost Frankenbite kind of jump cut audio underneath. And that way you will have a very smooth video transition from clip to clip, but you'll still be able to get your, your message delivered. Another option that you could do is cover your video component with b-roll so we've talked about b-roll on this channel many times before but b-roll is really what's going to separate and it's 2021 so i may get in trouble for this but it's going to separate the men from the boys right if you have quality b-roll your video is going to be much more visually interesting because you're constantly changing everything up and my third suggestion for hiding jump cuts well is to just not hide them and just embrace them. So big thing that we actually have going for us on YouTube is the fact that we are constantly talking into a camera. It's a little bit more relaxed and low key, right? However, we still need to get our message across. So this is why you would just, well, simply embrace the jump cut. And when I say embrace the jump cut, I'm not talking about 
you know, having a 10 minute video of nothing but jump cuts. What I mean is think of opportunities to create some visual change on your screen. So you'll notice what I did just there is I zoomed in a whole bunch to emphasize my point. But the main thing that I'm focused on is maintaining this right here. I'm kind of pulling a Barney Stenson a little bit and I know, but that's totally okay. The main point is if I'm talking to the camera and you're watching this video, you're really looking at my eyes as I talk because that's how you typically would talk and interact with a human being. So if I'm looking to zoom in and zoom out, the one thing that I'm paying attention to is my eye position. I don't want you having to hunt and look for where my eyes are if I'm talking. If I'm gonna do a dramatic zoom to embrace a jump cut, the one thing I'm focusing on is the eye level on my cuts. And that's all it is. And sometimes embracing those jump cuts every 15 to 30 seconds is a great way to keep viewers attention. Now, if you're interested in learning more of L and J cuts, how to use them and in DaVinci Resolve, how to quickly make them, check out this video here. If you're more interested in learning more of how to use B-roll, check out this video here. Look for the timestamps. And if this video helped you out, you know you gotta hit that thumbs up and click the little subscribe thing right here. It'll probably cover my face, but it's okay. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.